the top p value in ChatGPT decides the accumulative probability of the next best words being chosen. In very simple terms, you are deciding on the probability of the best suited word being chosen next in the sentence. Let's assume that ChatGPT is writing down a sentence and the sentence goes like this. I'm walking my fluffy and then there are three different words in this example that can be chosen next. A dog, a cat and an airplane. In this example, let's assume that each word has different probability of being chosen. A dog has 60% probability of being chosen as the next word, a cat has 30% and an airplane has 10%. And so in one basket, we have three different words that together make up 100% accumulative probability. If you are setting up the top p-value, let's say to 0.1, you are only allowing 10% of the best words in this basket to be chosen next. In this case, that would be a dog because it has 60% probability of being chosen next in the sentence. So by lowering down the top p-value, you are only allowing certain words that make the most sense to be chosen next in the sentence. Now let's assume that you are going to raise the top p-value and we are going to go and set it up to let's say 0.6. In this case, you are allowing ChatGPT to choose more words from this basket of free words. So in this case, we could assume that the dog, which has 60% probability of being chosen, but as well as the cat is going to be considered because it has the second highest probability to be chosen as the next word. And right now let's talk about what happens if you raise the top P value all the way up to one, which by the way, is also a default number in Zapier. What happens then is that you are allowing ChatGPT to be very creative and choose any word as the next option. So in our case, as we have three different words, even the airplane is going to be considered as a possible word that can be chosen next. In that case, we would be walking an airplane, which obviously doesn't make sense, but because you raise the top P to one, which is a cumulative probability of 100%, you're allowing ChatGPT to use words that don't even make sense. In this case, you're making the output more creative. All right, so should I choose high or low top P value in Zapier. Well, the first recommendation would definitely be to never use top p value of zero because that would actually go against what ChatGPT is for. We're using ChatGPT to be more creative and create a text that is going to at least have some creativity in it. You should use top p values of 0 0.2, 0 0.3 when you really want the sentence to be clean and only the words that make the most sense are going to be chosen as the next word in the sentence. Once again, think about the sentence I have shown you before. I'm walking my most likely people are not walking a cat so the word has a lower probability of being chosen on the other hand you should use high top p value of 0.9 or even 1 when you want to be creative and you want to allow ChatGPT to always give you different examples as well as different structures of the sentences if you want to know what the temperature in ChatGPT means I have made a video where I explain it in very simple terms so you can click and watch it right now over here